Howdy, folks. I hope you're well. We've got a few people watching. So just a bit of an impromptu catch-up, really, um, because some may be happy to see that I haven't actually been that busy on social media. Others may have missed me. Who knows? Um, so I just wanted to give you a bit of a catch up, what we're doing, what's been going on, what's happening in the future and all that stuff. And uh, happy to see that I haven't actually uh, been that don't want to hear me again. busy on social. So, yeah. So there we go. So thank you to those that are watching. Let's just say hello to those that are watching. Tom Swift's watching. Uh, Stuart Maloney, Eduardo Bernandez, Julie Wilkinson, Jeff Davies, Ivan Parks, Michael Hannaway, Jonathan Vella, Gary Taverner, David Penrose, Ian Gill's watching. Blimey, I'm privileged. Jeffrey Smith. Thank you for watching, folks. So yeah, bit of a catch up. So I am still mad busy trying to catch up. The harsh reality is I haven't managed to catch up with work and online stuff since Portugal. Um, it's true to say it's mad busy times over here. Um, incredibly busy, not enough hours in the day. And I, like I've said before, it's like I need to clone myself. I'm currently doing normally nine till two o'clock in the morning, nine in the morning till two o'clock in the morning. And I still haven't got enough time to, uh, to do everything. And in addition to everything RPI related, uh, my other business is busy as well. So it's a uh, challenge in times and ultimately I'm going to need realistically early next year i'm going to need to start bringing help in and get people to work with me i do have people that that help me out and work with me as and when needed but realistically with the two businesses as they're going and how busy things are getting i'm going to need to start bringing some help in and i'm looking forward to that i previously had people that i've worked with and uh definitely going to need to to bring some help in because just the sheer amount of uh work and everything that's going on a lot behind the scenes a lot of the stuff obviously people don't see but there's a hell of a lot going on so yeah it's just mad busy time being busy but i don't love being busy to where i can't keep up with my to-do lists and my uh my deadlines that either i put on myself or i've got i hate that but yeah um so ultimately in the next over the next couple of months i'm going to be looking to uh to expand the RPI team. And in addition to that, um, my other business always expanding as well. So we've got some uh, some busy, interesting times and good times ahead. Um, subsequently being so delayed and, and maxed out, I have not caught up properly on Facebook. If I owe you Facebook messages, if I owe you anything really, um, I apologize now. It is my goal to try and catch up on Facebook messages and Facebook in general, to be honest, um, by the time I call it a day tonight. And that's uh, hopefully going to happen. Um, and we've got, in addition to all the work here in front of the computer, I've got quite a busy trip schedule ahead as well, which Ultimately, when I'm not sitting in front of the computer here um, doing things for both my other business and RPI, although I work anywhere in the world and all I need is this laptop, um, you know, I'm going to Romania next week. And I never travel around anywhere without my laptop and I always work, even though actually it's supposed to be a bit of a holiday, of course, in my true normal sense. I've turned it into a, um, a pigeon trip as well. And uh, we got a couple of days down near the coast in the south of Romania, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, but as always, I will be doing stuff and trading in my other business and keeping up as much as I can. Um, so 
With regards to RPI auctions, um, as you may or may not know, we did our first auction, finished off last weekend. We had a couple of little technical issues. Um, not, as I've said before, not to the standard I would want. But as people have quite rightly said, um, it was a big auction to start. And I've set the bar at that. And as Gary Tomlinson himself said, you've set the bar at that. And as uh, my now increasingly, although I've never met him yet, Tom Swift said, who's a technical programmer and knows about this stuff, you've kind of set the bar with doing the Who Dares Wins auction. The auction generated just over £15,000, £155 per bird average. And considering the issues we had, which did get better over time, there was four days and every day they got better, um, was, a, was okay. But again, I was, I suppose, I've been, I've been told that I was a little bit hard on myself. Um, people, Other people having a pop doesn't help. But I've been told I was a little bit hard on myself. And I said to Gary the day before the auction happened, he said to me, stop getting stressed. And I said, I'll be stressed as long as there's no site problems. And uh, of course there was. And uh, yeah, but looking forward, what that whole thing has actually done is it's demonstrated the solution that I was assured by others would be solid is not good enough. We had a lot of people, a lot of traffic, a lot of people bidding, a lot of people um, coming to that way. And ultimately, long term, as we've got it now, it doesn't cut it. And I'm not somebody to hang around. And straight away over the weekend, I was looking at other options and professional. I tried to make the site as professional as possible, but technically, we need to up the game to where it can handle any amount of bids, any amount of people come into it that we can throw at it. And that's what I'm currently working on. You know, um, my goal with RPI auctions is to change the game of auctions in the UK and Ireland. That's the goal. And uh, to do that, the first auction we had uh, demonstrated that that needs a better, bigger, more powerful system. And that's what we're currently working on. And I would like to say also thanks to Tom Swift. Uh, Tom's a pigeon guy, uh, doesn't live that far away from Gary Tomlinson actually. And his dad's a pigeon guy and a pigeon family. But Tom is what we call a full stack developer. He's a technical programmer. And Tom was helping me out in addition to the people that were hosting the site. Um, trying to improve the site as the auctions were happening and i will be very great i am very grateful to him and that. but actually um tom's got the skills to know exactly moving forward what we need to do and he's been helping me um talking to people and getting it going so thank you to tom um and uh, he's continuing to help me out with stuff so moving forward wise with RPI, as I say, we're working on a completely new back end system. Uh, but what I want to do, part of changing the game with auctions in the UK and Ireland, is that I want to combine the two things. How are you doing, Lee Davison? I hope you're well, mate. I want to combine in room bidding. Nothing will be a physical auction. People in a room bidding. And if you saw my broadcast of uh, the Portugal auction on the Sunday morning, those guys had people bidding in the room. They had people bidding online. And that's what RPI auctions is going to be doing. So this new system we're building and we're working on now. And incidentally, if you get a copy of the British Home in Wales, you will see an advert for RPI auctions advertising that we are open. And we are pushing forward with it whilst we're getting this new system designed in the back end and, and behind the scenes. But um, ultimately other countries have really good auction based systems, both in room and, on, and online. And what I wanna do is combine, actually I wanna combine the three things. At the moment, you either get an online auction or a in the room auction or a, um, 
you can phone bid. I want to combine all three with RPI auctions. You know, I, I've never, um, I've never shied away from trying to be the best and technically giving the best service we can. Now, moving forward, what I want to do with RPI auctions is have online bidding, of course, and some some auctions will just be is online. It's an online auction, and that's it. But what I also want to do with some other auctions is I want to be able to have the birds in a room where people can bid in the room and it be simultaneously having people bidding it online. But also what I've seen is a lot of people have struggled to place telephone bids. And we're, I'm working on a system where we can have one phone number that people call and up to 20 people can be on that line placing the bid. To one to one person, so we will have three channels for people to be able to um, place their bids. Um, that's what we're working on as uh, as we speak. I'm currently working backward and forward with various people to get that done, um, and that's that's where we're looking to go. And I think it can really help change the market. I think it can help promote long term. It can help promote UK and Irish birds and flyers. A lot more that, that, that's, than that's happening at the moment, and there's a bunch of other stuff I want to do, but that they're the main core things with our player auction. So that's that's where we're going, and ultimately um, provide a full service. And it won't just be a breeding season or an off season business. I want it to be where all year round we've got auctions going on for young birds and for for, for sales of various kinds. And my goal is to make it the best. So despite the problems we had at the weekend, all that's done is teach us that we were actually too busy and, and it's given us the lessons now rather than having problems. And this new down the line, this new this new platform will be designed to one look impeccable. Um, and I'm, I'm getting inspiration from others. My, personally, I think the best looking auction site out there is pbay.be. I think that site is the best. And I'm going to be modeling what um, what we're doing on what those guys are doing because I think they do a great job. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing with RPI. And ultimately, we will be offering the ability for people to be able to keep their birds with us as dispatch the birds. I, I realize there's a, you know, sometimes people have scenarios where they need to get shot of their birds quick. We'll be able to go in take the birds off them and get them auctioned at a later date and market them as well. So that's kind of where we're going with RPI auctions. There's the update on that. And combining that with all the other stuff I'm doing, you know, um, I'm going all out to make that system. And, and the system we're looking at now will be able to handle hundreds of people bidding simultaneously. And it will look, uh, it will look good when it's done. And in the meantime, we're just going to keep working on what we've already got. And we've got a situation where it can handle up to a certain amount, but this new system moving forward is going to be kick-ass. And uh, Tom Swift says, you're more than welcome, Mark. What RPI auctions, what RPI auctions will be, will, there'll be nothing in the UK and Ireland to touch it. And that's what we're aiming to be. We're aiming to be the best. Uh, uh, and, and aiming to be the best and wanting to be the best doesn't necessarily mean you're best straight away. And as like I said, the first auction demonstrated technically – you know, um, it, we need to upgrade our systems. And I'm someone that on a base level understands this stuff. I'm not a coder or a programmer in any way, but I understand what's needed. And we now know categorically what's needed and we're actively working on that. So that's what RPI auctions are doing. And in addition to RPI auctions, there's still the issue of people posting livestock on Facebook and RPI ads, which I haven't mentioned much because, again, there's a couple of little things that need doing there. But anybody can go to RPIads.com and list any birds they've got completely free as a classified advert. And there is nothing against Facebook's terms and conditions with linking to your ad on, on RPI ads to a bird or bird you've got for sale from Facebook. So that's, you know, it's about trying to provide services for people that people want to use. So you're going to be seeing a lot more advertising about RPI ads and everything else we've got going on and RPI auctions. That's where we're at with that. Moving on, Monday's show, last Monday's show with Gary Tomlinson blew my mind. 
the most um, the most viewers I've ever had on an RPI uh, live TV show previously was about 130 people, I think, roughly something like that, 120, 130 people. And on Monday, we smashed 150, 200, went up to 333. And I remember it being on 333 thinking, this is massive. We topped out on Monday at over 600 people watching live blows my mind and we averaged about 350 370 people watching live and as like i said on the show i can remember back when i started all of this back in march seeing um pippa getting 150 or 200 people watching live and thinking that's absolutely amazing uh, at the time i was getting like 20 or 30 people watching live and to have the tv rpi tv show now getting that many hundreds of people watching from all around the world blows my mind that's not um testament to anything i'm doing specifically i think it was because we had gary on who's such a good guest and gives all but it shows you momentum's picking up there and it's just doing stuff like that doing the live broadcast from the uh, from the one life races and doing these monday tv shows that get hundreds of people that video, that live replay now has had nearly twelve thousand people watch it blows my mind and thank you to everybody that watch it and it's you guys that watch it and share it and get the word out there and and it's like a few people have said um it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and better and better and that's that's the plan with rpi or, or everything i'm doing um and thank you again to everybody that shared it and i know for a fact gary's facebook blew up after that he got messages coming in galore and stuff because he tells everything and that's people can see that you know he'll tell anything anybody wants to know and uh yeah i was especially after the weekend i'd had and, and 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 some of the crap and hassle i'd been getting online from from some people it felt really nice to top out at 600 people watching that show on monday night live that uh that was a good feeling and thank you to everybody that watches it and shares it and it does really genuinely mean a great deal to me um yeah still find it hard to believe that many hundreds of people will want, want to watch something I'm doing. Um, so yeah, the future with regards to RPI Live, it's actually going to be, so RPI TV, ultimately it is a TV show. That's what we want to over time make it into a proper TV show and do a lot better than we're already doing. I'm always looking, if you haven't already picked up on it, I'm looking to strive, improve and do the best I can. Um, we've got we're going to be kind of changing it slightly a little bit, not the actual format of the show or anything like that or the days, but RPI Live is it was going to be called. It'll be a live TV show. It's always going to be live. RPI Live is something I'm doing to where uh, you may or may not know I've had problems with Facebook and, and idiots reporting videos, live videos, and them being took down and all this boring stuff. Um, ultimately, what I'm doing is I'm looking to create it where over time, people come to the RPI website, which will be called rpilive.com, and can see the, the um, see the show on the website, whether it's on their phone or their computer or whatever. And then <clears throat> that live gets distributed out to Facebook and YouTube and what have you. So we're not relying on, as we are now, the video being on Facebook live ultimately let's call it as it is the momentum and what i've been doing has caused quite a lot of jealousy and it's just people it's very easy to click a live broadcast and that broadcast be taken down and i don't want that i don't want that for the people whose one life races that i'm covering i don't want it for my stuff so ultimately i'm looking to create it where rpr live is the place that people want eventually come to and then we distribute it as it's happening to Facebook and YouTube and what have you. And that's the kind of plan we're going along. And uh, ultimately every video I do is on YouTube, but we're gonna have it as a central place for the, the, the RPR Live TV in one place, all the videos are there. And people are, over time will know to go to RPR Live and they can, it'll be integrated where people can use Facebook comments to carry on you know, commenting and all of that stuff. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. My Facebook battles to get my lives from the, all of Portugal 
and Aaron Ennis's TV show he did a week last Monday is still ongoing. Trust me, I will not give up until those TV shows and those live broadcasts are back up and are online. There's zero reason why they should have been taken down. I have actually had Facebook get back to me and say, oh, sorry, we made a, a, a mistake about a couple of non-video based posts that some idiot reported and they've now put back up. I will not give up until uh, all of those videos are back online because there's absolutely no reason why they should have been took off. That's just a little personal crusade. But ultimately, my Facebook battles continue because they're not the easiest company in the world to talk to and, and actually speak to somebody and, and tell them what's going on. But we continue the battle and we will carry on. So next uh, on Saturday, I fly to uh, Bucharest, Romania. As you may or may not know, um, my girlfriend Gabby is Romanian and her family still live in Bucharest. So it's kind of a half holiday, half I've made it into pigeon related stuff. And as I said earlier, I always travel with my trusty laptop and pretty much end up working wherever I am. It's just the type of guy I am. But um, I will be, so I'll be there from Saturday to the following Saturday. And then on the Friday, a week on Friday, I've, uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to Soren Flores Lofts which I'm really excited to look forward to because that guy's an inspiration with what he's done with over there. But in addition, I'm going down to the south of Romania near the coast, actually near the Bulgarian border. And I'm down there for two days. And I would, I want to, I don't want, I mean, I'm really excited to go and, and, and see Soren Flores set up. That's like I said, but I also, while I'm over there, want to go and see normal guys, normal loft setups. So if you are watching this or you know anybody in Romania that is either in Bucharest, I would love to go and visit one or two flyers uh, in Bucharest or down on the south coast near the Bulgarian border of Romania. I'm down on the, the south coast on the Tuesday and the Wednesday. I want to go and visit a couple of small guys, you know, normal flying lots. So if you're watching this or you know anybody in Romania that would watch this, I want to, to do that. I want to try and go and see uh, go and see some people. So let me know or message if you know anybody that might be interested because I would love to do a Facebook Live um, from there. And it doesn't matter if uh, people's English is not great because uh, obviously Gabby speaks fluent English and Romanian. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to go and visit some uh, regular guys, you know. Um, you know what I mean? That's not anything against what Soren's got. I can't wait to go and see it, but normal flying lofts I would like to go and see down there as well. The following weekend, I haven't booked the trip yet, which I need to do before I go to Romania. Again, not many enough hours in the day. Um, I'm planning to go to Kassel, uh, Kassel, however you pronounce it, in Germany the following weekend. I plan to go down there on the Friday, uh, which is... Uh, um, it's where well, let's see what date that is should be more prepared mark really way too many computer screens around me and uh, not enough preparation um so yeah i'm, I'm planning to go to Cassell on the I, I plan to fly down there on the 25th um and i'm going to be spending the 26th down there and coming back on the 27th i'm aiming to bring zandy with me um because i think it would be really good for him to go and see and uh, so i'm going down there and i think uh gary tomlinson's going down we may even fly down uh together as well because we're not that far away from each other so yeah i'm planning to go to Cassel. uh i've never been before and i know it's a big deal and i know a lot of people are going to be there and i think it would be good for me to go and like i said i think it'll be good for alexander to go down there as well and it'll give him an idea of what's going on down there Uh, so yeah, and then in November, I'm still I haven't arranged it yet, but I'm still planning to go to China to the Lang Fang event as well, because uh, that will be fascinating to go to. Um, Terry Wright thought you was off to Romania. Yeah, I'm going on Saturday, mate. So I'm going. You may have missed it. I'm in Sat. I'm in Romania Saturday to Saturday, and then I'm in. Uh, I'm flying to Germany. 
following Friday, back Sunday, October, and then I'm going to Barcelona mid November, and then I'm in China at the end of November, and then I don't think I've got anything else on until Blackpool. So, um, so yeah, that's that. So busy, busy times in addition to sitting here in front of my eight computer screens working 18 hours a day. Um, if you haven't yet done it, it's been scrolling at the bottom. If you haven't yet done it, do yourself a favor and go and join the RPI Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Racing Pigeon International. It's a lovely, friendly group. We don't have any hassle in there. We've cut out any other people that were causing hassles. There's now over 3,500 people in that group. And like I said, oh, by the way, we did a, a competition for to win uh, an RPI T-shirt. I haven't forgot it. It's on my list to get them uh, out. We don't actually have a supply of them, so I have to go and order them and get them and send out. So if I owe you a T-shirt, you um, – you will be getting it, I promise. And we're going to be running more competitions in the uh, Facebook group as well. In addition, uh, something else I want to do to, get again, give people the chance to be able to win stuff that perhaps some people wouldn't be able to afford. Uh, Pigeonprize.com is something else that I'm going to be doing some more raffles on. And I want I tell you what I want to do. I want to do some big competitions for, uh, for ETS clocks, and I'd love to be able to get a loft up as a raffle as well so yeah again lots going on um so david power says could you do an interview with the boys there? i'd love to see how they met their birds uh they were called upon him are you talking about the romanians or the germans david um let me know mate uh but yeah i want to do some facebook wires from lost but i need some smaller guys normal regular guys to go and see in Romania. And as I said, language barrier is not an issue because Gabby will be with me. Um, but I would love to, I really want to do that. So kind of that's where I'm at really. And saying all that, I need to crack on and go and uh, go and get some more work done. Uh, so yeah, if I do owe you messages, t-shirts, some remaining books at the back there, I, I distributed a load of books the Pippa books, the GPS books, and the Walker's books that I talked about three weeks ago. I managed to get rid of 80% of them yesterday out to people. Uh, there's a couple there, just as you can see, that I need to try and get out today to catch up with that before I go to Romania. Um, yes, David, I will do. I will try my best to go do some loft visits. Terry Wright, go and have a shave. That'll happen before I go to Romania. Probably the morning I fly. That's how busy it is. I haven't even got time for that. To be fair, I only shave once a week anyway. So. But thank you for the input, Terry. And if you've already noticed as well, Terry, a little message to you as well. I have in my adverts and my posts and other some other stuff that I've done but hasn't gone out yet, I've stopped calling them birds, Terry. And I've started referring to them as pigeons. Just for you, Terry. So there we go, guys. I'm going to go and crack on. If there's no more comments, thank you to everybody that's been watching. If you only just caught the tail end of this and you care to know what I've been doing and what's been going on and what I've been talking about for the last half an hour, go and watch the replay. Please share it. And uh, thanks a lot. Aaron Ennis, by the way, is going to be guest hosting a Monday night show at 8 o'clock on RPI Live TV. Um, Aaron is going to be doing that again. It went down great. Um, a week last Monday when he did it when I was in Portugal. Aaron is going to be doing Monday show at 8 o'clock, so please go to the Racing and support him as well. Um, why wouldn't you? He's a great guy, and he's probably more interesting to watch than me. So thanks very much, guys. Catch you soon. If I owe you stuff, I promise I will do my very best to get you back to you before the end of tonight. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon. Be lucky and have a good rest of your day.